Police rush from their posts outside the UIC pavilion. They find a struggle between officers and a protester, and that protester finds himself subdued and bloodied on the pavement of a nearby intersection. A handful of other activists are taken away by law enforcement, the violence impacting police as well as an officer is spotted bleeding at the scene. Tonight, we won, okay? Elation preceded the bloodshed as those against presidential candidate Donald Trump celebrated what they called a grassroots victory, many believing their protests played a role in the businessman postponing his speech, several calling for controlled celebrations despite all the political adrenaline. Unfortunately, not all listened to that plea for peace. We reached out to the Chicago Police Department to find out how many people were arrested and also the medical condition of those injured. They told us they did not have the information at this point in time, but would follow up in the hours ahead. The view is fantastic. The view is of downtown Chicago. After the rush, a rush hour. Yeah, always running around, always working through traffic. Daisy Arashiba settles into his two-bedroom, one-and-a-half bath apartment. The comic actor and musician calls this home and home office for... What, seven years? But this year, he discovered his nest. Uh, was, that a, was that a falcon? Expanded, unexpectedly. Well, I'm sure you know the Chicago Housing Authority is like, that's not a legal bedroom out there in the balcony. Part of his 28th floor Lakeview apartment was taken over by a pair of squawky squatters. When they get together, they become kind of the Bickersons. It's like, what are you doing? It's like, I've been flying around hunting things. What do you got? I got something. I just killed it. You want to eat some? Sure. You know. Peregrine falcons are a bird of prey traditionally nesting in places like barren cliff faces. And I happen to have empty window boxes because I'm a terrible gardener. He branded the birds after famous musicians. Steve and Linda because Perry, Steve Perry and Linda Perry. Eventually discovering his new neighbors made more than music. And there are four chicks. There's Luke Perry, Katy Perry, Joe Perry, and because it's Chicago, Refrigerator Perry. The birds are federally protected, so it is against the law to move the nest. Arshiba has limited access to his balcony for about another month. That's when this feathered family could say farewell. Chicks that have been born here have ended up as far away as Ecuador. For now, the hum of traffic is part of the lullaby for four newborns. The Windy City providing a perch and one man providing the rent for some temporary tenants. So there they are. Unfortunately, I'm okay with it. <laughs> Jeremy Ross. CBS 2 News. On Wednesday, Calhoun and 103rd was moving. With the exception, Pamela Watkins. He stopped me for speeding. She had to pull over. It's like, oh man, coming down 103rd. It's the Chicago firefighter was in uniform, on her way to work and felt something wasn't right. A separate officer may have felt it too, stopping his squad to talk to her. I didn't get out until the other officer who pulled up alongside of me gave me permission. That's when the officer behind me got out, his hand on his gun. Get in the car! Get in the car! You feared for your life? I did. Watkins says the verbal abuse. Get in the car! Get back in the car! Turned physical. He's like... This is where the door slammed it. He didn't care that your foot was in the way? No, and then he did it a second time. She's wearing bandages rather than a cast. Her heavy work boots lessened the impact. This is what saved. Should this cop be on the streets? No. She would know. For more than 16 years, Watkins was a Chicago police officer who also pulled over cars. I work with some really great police officers. According to the Citizens Police Data Project, the veteran officer in question received at least 17 complaints and was disciplined at least once since 2011. We all are not bad. We all do not condone this behavior. This week, Watkins received a ticket, an injured foot, and word her case is under investigation. IPRA has contacted me. And a spokeswoman for IPRA confirming tonight there is an independent investigation. That includes a review of video from the stop. Live in the newsroom, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Erica. Okay, Jeremy, thank you.